everybody, it's me, Margaret, here with the camera on two of my girls. Maggie is trying to write presents, but Buzzy is convinced that it's all a great cat game. <laughs> this is the last video of my modified Vlogmas 2018, and also the last mention of sweet treats for quite a while. I may be brave and try some keto or paleo desserts in the near future, but until then, enjoy the last of the sweets. This is our favorite holiday treat, baked only at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and as usual, the recipe will be in the description box below. Now, you'll want to start with all your ingredients at room temperature. It's one of those sciency baking facts that really makes a difference, so don't skip this step. Now, note that no sugary treat is good for our bodies, but you can lessen the bad impact by choosing organic ingredients, especially the dairy products, so you avoid those artificial growth hormones. And remember, margarine is never an option. That's full of trans fats. So we start by creaming together the butter, cream cheese, and three cups of sugar. I keep a half cup scoop in the sugar container, so I'll be scooping six times. And you'll want to beat this really well, say three to four minutes. Okay, that looks good. So next we'll be adding two of our eggs and one cup of unbleached, all-purpose flour. And don't be putting that bleached stuff in my cake now. I haven't tried a gluten-free version of this cake, but I keep saying that's on my list of things to do. So we'll mix it well, and then we'll repeat this process two more times. Two eggs and one cup of flour, and you'll have a nice, thick batter. Look, I almost forgot the teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract, none of that chemically imitation stuff. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 325 Fahrenheit and go spray your pan. Now, real cooks prefer to butter and flour a pan, but that's a lot of trouble, and this oil seems to do great for us. I love this glass sprayer, by the way. I'll link it below, and you'll never have to buy that aerosol kind again. As a matter of fact, after using this, if you go back to the aerosol kind, you can taste those chemicals in it, and you'll wonder why you ever thought that was a good idea. The batter is thick and heavy, and it hurts my injured wrist something awful. Yes, I could have asked for help, but I like to figure things out for myself, so I rested it on the center of the bud pan and solved my dilemma. I do this little trick to make sure there are no large air pockets. The old trick of banging it on the counter sort of works, but the batter is so thick I've never seen any air bubbles come up. <laughs> The recipe says to cook it for one hour and 20 minutes, but I never trust my oven, so I set the timer for one hour, and then I start checking after that. In this case, it did take that long, but I took it out when I was happy with the way it looked on top, not with what the timer said. In all the hullabaloo, I didn't get a picture of the finished product. So here's a shot of the remains. No air pockets, dense and moist. We also mm -hmm. made our secret mm -hmm. family fudge recipe that I won't be sharing here, sheepishly or otherwise. It's the one thing I volunteer to bring to all potlucks, so I can't give the recipe away. It's the first dessert to go because I cut it in small pieces, and even non-dessert eaters may choose one little piece of fudge over a whole piece of cake, or whatever. And moms will add one piece to a child's dessert plate, and they get all excited because mom let them have two desserts. <laughs> now, while none of us like nuts in our fudge, Maggie and Dad just like the plain version, and the boys and I like a mint version. We just replaced some of the chocolate in the recipe with some sort of mint candies. In this case, it's Dove Mint Chocolate. 
For activities, we went to the escape room our nephew owns and we solved it with one minute to spare. It was so fun and we have to go back again and again to solve all the other rooms in there. We loved it. Now look how Thomas towers over the rest of us. <laughs> Maggie and I took Marta, that's public transit, down to the Fox Theater to see the all-new Nutcracker by the Atlanta Ballet, and it was way better than the previous version. Tucker and I treated ourselves to TSA PreCheck to make air travel easier, so I had to fit my appointment in there sometime between all our activities horrible day outside and I had to come down here to get my pre-check number which was a pretty painless thing. TSA pre-check, you had to get your fingerprints done and all that stuff. You fill out a form online and then they give you an appointment time and then you just kind of I mean, it's very simple. So that will be a huge time savings in the Atlanta airport to always have pre-check. <laughs> we also have clear which just gets you in front of everybody in that line. So Looking forward to using that next time I fly. We altered our Christmas Eve this year. We went to the early children's service at church, then we played our game with a twist. Okay, we are in the car on Christmas Eve getting ready to do our famous game. Only Maggie has changed the rules for us this time and that is, she says she can't talk because she happened to end up with a sinus infection, so I'm doing the talking. But if I remember correctly, we're going in with our $15. We're going to buy something, a cool gift is what it, how she described it. Right, Maggie? Turn mm -hmm. it so they can see other people besides no, just... Something that anybody in the family, should they end up with, would be okay with getting. Right. And then you go through this series of... Uh, right. so, well, okay. It doesn't matter. You don't have to run, give them a hold on that. Okay, so anyway, you do all this commotion and then you end up trading and... I don't know. I'm not making it sound very interesting, but we'll it sounds show you great. when it's happening. Oh, okay. All right. That'll work. Instead of going to Walmart, we went to a strip center with lots of different stores. Okay. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? That sounded like the beginning of television. <laughs> okay, so now everybody passes their present to the left because that's what Dad rolled. So everybody got a present back. So, so now it's your turn, Mom. Everybody pass your presents to the right. This is fun. So do we want to keep doing it with them unopened or do we want to start to open them? Yeah, open them. Okay. Two. I get to choose anybody. Any present. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll choose mom. Uh, mom, that one. What was originally mom's? Thomas's. So now we switch, but only I open. Oh, you have to drop the present. So now no, that's that. I wanted. Is that? Oh, that's your. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We've got some Chipotle nuts. <laughs> this is Ma with Thomas and mine. And a smartphone virtual reality headset. Okay, cool. So now, Tyler rolls. Yay, fun. Three. What does that mean? Uh, pass your present to the left. No. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> And now you get to open that present Those because two. you rolled. Right. This, oh, this is magic. Yeah. <laughs> that you know. No. Uh, it appears to be the sequel. It's dose. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it's a, the second best game in the world. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the best game. And and. Your roll. Is it? Yes. Is it my roll? One. Uno. Uh, or, as they like to say in Spanish. Uno means one. keep your present, so you have to unwrap that present. Wow, I wonder what it is. Oh, uh, did you buy it? Yeah, it's in my office. <laughs> Maybe this game works better with more people. One dollar. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I looked at that too. That was pretty cool. Oh, I looked at that three. That was the first thing I picked up. 
that? It's similar to yours. Mom. It's a uh, projector for your phone. So you slide your phone into one side and it projects out the other. Oh, yeah. So you can Ooh. put recipes up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got really that cool. one. I wanted to see I've one. always wanted to have my recipes on the I mean, it makes it easier. To to, yeah, you always. need to choose any present. <laughs> well, it's not wrapped in the first place either way. I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't been a, a, uh, opened, revealed. Is it lettuce? Ping pong. Oh. So, so I saw this three ninety nine mini ping pong battle. So I figured it'd be fun challenge. Oh, and downstairs. Then, that's sort of like uh, uh, knockoff banana grams. Oh, cool! I like banana grams. Six. You get to pick any present. Well, she's gonna pick the last one. Oh, I like my present. Um, you can pick that one. one. Uh, no, I don't want that one. Let's get everything on the table. Your dress is all right over here. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You that is really fun. <laughs> but I bought mine first. <laughs> yeah, you did. So now we can play again and it keeps swapping around. One more roll around. Five. Five. Uh, keep your present. Six. Six. You get to pick any present. Uh, I think I'll pick Thomas's projector. <laughs> I'm gonna look at that. One. Person that I really like. Four. Uh, pass it to the right. Tyler. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Hey, I'm I'm getting a virtual reality headset like either the, way. I like your virtual reality headset. <laughs> Three. Everybody pass it to the left. <laughs> so we're going back again. All right, this is it. Whatever happens now, mom's rolling. Four. One. One. Keep your present. <laughs> everybody got their present. Okay. <laughs> So this is the way we set up at our house. Of course, everybody's old now, but once upon a time they couldn't come downstairs until Mom did all the setup. Now, we're sitting on hardwood, so we like to sit on a quilt or, of course, chairs right here. We have our garbage bag, which is really just a cleaner's bag, and it will contain the paper. And this is Buzzy's first Christmas. This is a very old quilt my aunt made, and I've got a whole collection of quilts I need to pull out and show you her work because she does these just for fun, these little lap-size quilts. We love them. This was Tyler's. Now, the first Grumpus is up. Kind of okay. What? <laughs> Why'd you take so long to get up? Y'all agreed on 8 o'clock. I didn't agree on anything. Oh. Yeah. I was gone before... We, <laughs> And apparently I didn't put enough quilts, so we had to have a whole collection of quilts. <laughs> he wants to. You tell him. You tell him. Play with me. <laughs> Thomas, that's what he's saying. That's right. So then Thomas gave Bentley one of these treats, which completely takes over his world. Maggie calls them paralyzing treats because we can't get him to do anything but focus on this treat. Uh, look, and now that he's got the paralyzing treat, he won't even greet Tyler. Bentley, look! Sorry, Tyler, but I have to eat this now. This is the, the Christmas ball. Right, so there's your lock boxes, and here is your first clue. <laughs> Open it up. I'll be okay. I did that. So I 
think that's probably enough of Christmas at the Outlander, so I'll leave you with Thomas solving Tyler's escape room type clues in order to get his presents. Thanks for hanging out with us. Until next time. Alright, so interesting. Now you have six, six keys. And how many spaces are at the bottom of that? Examine your keys. Oh, they're right here. You know, at the bottom of the thing. <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay. There's no light in your room. Okay. Look, <laughs> we need to put this in. And I have this body. <laughs> oh, dear. Cover your mouth. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Are you sleeping?